Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. A very interesting um, um, test or um, of, of, of any um, hard drives. A very interesting um, look at the differences between solid state drives and regular hard drives lifetime. Um, these are actually uh, the average failure rates for these devices by age or by year. And of course, this is a controlled test that's been done. It's uh, from Bagblaze, and basically they have issued some very interesting info on the average failure rates. So the uh, first impression that I've always had, um, and that was before I had computers with SSDs in them, was that because solid state drives have no mechanical parts, technically they should actually um, be better and last more than the standard hard drive that is a mechanical uh, hard drive. So the standard old magnetic hard drives, you know, have spinning platters and an actuator arm that's moving around to get the data. So it's mechanical. Mechanical means wear and tear over time. And there's no moving parts in the solid state drives. It's all transistorized. And, um, you know, this means, and what I always thought was SSDs probably last longer. Well, their tests actually prove that solid state drives actually last much longer than the standard hard disk drive. The failure rates are very low compared, compared to uh, standard magnetic drives. So here what you see, the blue line is a solid state drive failures year after year. The red line is the hard disk drives. Now, the magnetic hard disk drives, as you see here, in the first three to four years, um, you have an average of below 2%. And actually, if you look here, the average over that time period is, you know, 1.5% roughly on average. But after, uh, when you go to the fifth year, you see that the average failure rates actually skyrocket for standard um, mechanical hard drives. On the other hand, if you look at the year-over-year uh, -year of sol solid-state drives, pretty much um, stay in the 1% range, roughly. There's no real climb, and if you um, actually would add more years, you probably would not see that much of a difference in failure rates. So these are some of the tests they've done, and they tend to show us that solid state drives last way longer and are less prone to failure than the mechanical hard drives. There's a lot of comments when I talked about uh, solid state drives versus our disk drives. Uh, there's a lot of comments of people saying, well, you know, a solid state drives, when it fails, you can't access data anymore. Um, I, over time, changed so many hard drives, hard disk drives that you cannot get any data anymore also. It's not just a question of solid state drives. Um, some have and give you a time to prepare yourself. You see that it becomes sluggish uh, on the mechanical side and that it gives you a time. But um, I would say that more than half of the hard drives, the mechanical hard drives, just fail and you'll never recover anything out of them. So, um, for the solid state drives, um, most of the failures um, are, you know, yeah, it could be like very abrupt, meaning that, boop, just doesn't work anymore, and you can't get really any of the stuff on it. Um, a lot of the controllers seem to be the first failure on many of what I've seen. But um, they have other um, um, charts that if actually um, on their, their website, if you go to Bagblaze, and look at um, the uh, average failure rate, you'll see other charts. What they're showing is really def definitely that um, the uh, solid state drives last much longer and are less prone to failure than mechanical hard drives. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.